before we get started, I want to say remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. All my links to everywhere you can find me at is uh, in the link is in the description below. You can also, you know, see all of the things going to you see it going to scrolling, scrolling this way, scrolling this way, scrolling this way, scrolling this way. You know, it's funny that I'm turning right. But everything is scrolling left. That's 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 kind of awkward for me. I feel kind of weird. But no, seriously. Um, on today's show, type in a man's name, and somehow I wound up on Twitter. Now, it says that a man was supposed to have you know bound uh, a woman, tied her, bound the woman to a steering wheel, and stabbed her on Facebook Live, and I'm like, okay, like, that's weird, a bit much. Now, there are some things that we hear that it's not that bad. I mean, we watch scary movies. We watch uh, gangster movies. We watch mafia movies. We watch all kinds of uh, gore-filled movies. And when you watch a movie, you already know in your mind, you're going into it, that I'm going to watch a movie. So you have that expectation of what you're going to see inside this movie. And even still, there are some people who can't even take that. There was a time where back in the day before, uh, I, I, I don't even know if they still have those shows on anymore, but Back when I was in like middle school, high school, I used to watch the, I want to say it was the Discovery Channel, where they used to have like the operation shows where you see them go in and doing operations and things like that. When I was younger watching it, I can watch it no problem, not flinch, not get squeamish, not, you know, feel ill, not want to, not feel like I want to throw up. But now, and after I had, uh, I got older and tried to go back and watch it again, I can't watch. I I can't do it. It's it becomes a bit much. I can't sit. Is is like all all the blood and uh, the, the cutting and the I, even me sitting here and trying to describe it while not trying to describe it and trying to block the image from my head. It mm. anyway. Let me get get to why I have you all gathered here today. Today's report, I'm coming to you asking the question. I'm asking you the question of Early Johnson Jr. Um, today's story is about Early Johnson Jr., who bound, tortured, stabbed Janice David on Facebook Live. Like I said, for those of you who had the unfortunate task unfortunate whatever word you want to put in with unfortunate right before you actually seen and witnessing what happened on the facebook live video because like i oh see i quote myself on the facebook live video because when i went over to instagram there was a gentleman who had the video posted on it i was not prepared for what i was to watch on that video and this gentleman right here is Mr. Earl Lee Johnson Jr. So Earl Lee Johnson Jr. has been charged after a woman was choked and stabbed to death in a live stream video, according to police. The Baton Rouge Police Department arrested and charged Earl Lee Johnson Jr., 35, with first degree murder for the killing of 34 year old Janice David on Monday on Monday evening. The police department issued a media release following Johnson's arrest and released a picture of the suspect, which this is the picture of the suspect that was released with the press release. All of that you can find if you Google early Johnson Jr. the same way that I did. That's how I found the whole story and not like the little clip that Instagram, YouTube and all of them did shows you. You got to go and look into things. So I went. I followed the trail and did all that. Now, it says that the police explained, you know, that they already had Johnson in custody. 
They noted that the live stream video showing David being stabbed was brought to the attention or, you know, they discovered the body. So basically, when he did stupidly live stream the video, they were alerted to what was going on. So they tracked him down. He was already arrested before they even found the car and the body. This is one of those moments that I'm going to say, like I said, because this is a like I said moment. Because if you were lucky to not see the video, we're going to watch this short clip right here. No, there will not be any showing of anything that this gentleman did. This is what the news Facebook live video from news. Well, I, I found it from Newsweek. They got it from Facebook live. So if you want to follow the Newsweek, follow it over to Facebook live. Do all that. I will have the link to all this in the description below. But we're going to get right into this video right now and see what is going on. See what Cuckoo for Cocoa Post was thinking because this right here was just stupid. I will save my thoughts on this after hearing what the news gathered, what the news put together because I saw the video. There is nothing around it. You did it. I watched you do it. Everybody watched you do it. And it's sad that even though we all watched you do it, we still have to say that you allegedly did this. Even though you allegedly confessed and we allegedly saw you allegedly really do this allegedly, we just still have to say allegedly, which I, I really found crazy. But some of the weirdest things have happened where people that we know have done it have gotten off, not allegedly, but seriously. So let's get into ripped, bound, and unable to escape. Please, please. Money guy. Police say the woman in this video. What would be your reason for choking, stabbing, and burning? Which I okay, I told you that all of this was live streamed, and this is not a joke. He this was literally, and you've seen in the beginning of this clip, he literally live streamed this. Live streamed on Facebook. You see her bound to the steering wheel. You hear her begging for her life. You see him mumbling and garbling, whatever it is, BS that he's trying to say. And while at the same time, every time he say a word, every time she begs for him to stop, he's stabbing her. And then you thought, or did you forget that you live streamed this for everyone to see? And then you go and thought you were going to burn the car, to burn the body, to hide the evidence? Dude, whether or not they found that car in her body, you were going to jail. They had the video. That's enough. That's all they need. They have you real good in this video right here. Real good. There is no way that you can even say like, oh, that was not me. But it, it was you. Because look at this. Look at this right here. All you. Straight you. You can see tattoos and everything right there. Like, I don't, I don't get what you were thinking. Look. All tattoos, you gave them everything that they need. Everything. Money guy. Police. And then you sitting here throwing some money game. You did all of this in the heat. You're sweating, brother. You're sweating. What, what is going on here? This video with the blurred is Dennis David. You can hear her begging for her life. Somebody I started that night. Please. He choked her, beat her, and he stabbed her. And then from there, he tried to set the car on fire. Earl and dude, like, it's a freaking car. How hard is it to set the car on fire? Cars have gasoline. If you really want to do that, if you really want to take it that far, why not just throw something in, I don't know, like the gasoline tank? Like, I, I don't know if they made it where it would be hard for the newer cars. They're like, I, I, I doubt if y'all was in a newer car, but you know what? That's that's really stereotyping. That's a bad thing to do. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to stereotype. Lee Johnson Jr. allegedly went on Facebook Live and took David's life in front of an audience inside of a car in the forest. St He went and took this woman's life. I'm, I seen this news report earlier. I didn't watch the full thing, but I saw up to this point when I heard them say Sherwood Forest, and what popped in my head was uh, Robin Hood. When they be out there stealing the Sherwood Forest, which this whole thing right here just sounds like 
something around along, along those lines because the homeboy was just stupid. I, I mean, at least Robin Hood was at least smart enough to do crimes and get away with it. You recorded your crime. And then you thought it was a bright idea to leave the car in the same spot and try to burn the car and burn the evidence. And it said try to burn, which means you didn't successfully do it when there was a successful way for you to do it, when none of this was properly thought out, when we already know that it wasn't properly thought out. We can see that it wasn't properly thought out because you were, you were caught. You were actually caught before they found the body, which is crazy. And I, I will explain how he was caught before they actually found the body, which, I mean, anybody with common sense can, would know how he was caught before they found the body. He live streamed the, he, he live streamed the snuff film. And now I'm scarred for the rest of my life because I have something in my brain that I seen that I cannot unsee that will forever be etched in my mind because this individual wanted to go out here and stabby stab stab someone after spending three days with them getting high and drunk and whatever else it was that they were doing. That at the end of it, when all the drugs are gone, all the lick is gone. All the money is gone, but you still want to go, 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 go. You then want to take it upon yourself to tie this woman to the steering wheel. Stab her to death on live stream. Stabbing her roughly 50 to 70 times. Now, I will say this. Though I did see the video, I did not watch that full video. I couldn't even tell you how long that full video was because I think at the the first beginning, which actually seen what was going on, because again, I didn't think that it was going to show the actual situation going on, but it showed the actual, it showed the actual situation, like the full actual situation. There was no hiding what was going on in that video. So every time she would beg, he would, you know, do what it is, say the little, you know, ignorant BS he would say, and you would constantly see his arm doing like this in the camera, in, you know, on the camera. Now this part I did see. I did see this part, him keep doing this. And then hearing her beg for her life. And then it caused me to feel some kind of way. Like, I really felt sick. I, I really. There isn't a word that could describe how I felt when I saw that in that moment. And I see the individuals that are involved in the situation. I'm not blind. I can I can see that his skin looked just like mine and hers looked like, you know, someone else's. But when I saw that, when I saw him, when I heard her, I didn't see all that. I saw a man. I saw a woman. I also saw a man. Or should I say. A nigga. That a lot of you women out there, or should I say females out there, claim that there are not a lot of out there. And I said before, and I will say again, there is no such thing as a real nigga. Why? Because all the real niggas I know are either dead or or in jail. When you're ready to go out and find you a mate, when you're finally ready to, even though there are people who, you know, want to say certain things about words, like when you say, oh, settle down. Settle down, yes, I know words, I know words mean a lot, but just because you say settle down, it doesn't mean you have to settle with anyone or anything. It just means that you're at that point in your life, you're ready to, you know, you're, you're ready to be with that one person 
to spend the rest of your life with. That's what settle down means in my book. I don't know what the definition is in the dictionary. I didn't look it up, haven't looked it up, am not going to look it up. But if you would like to look it up and leave it down in the comments, you can by all means. But I'm not because I don't care about it that much. What I'm going to say is settle down for me in my book means I'm ready to settle down with one woman and start a family and to live out the rest of my life and to experience the rest of my life with this one individual. When you're going, when you're ready to do that, you're saying you're looking for a man. You're looking for a woman. You're looking for a husband. You're looking for a wife. You don't say you're looking for a nigga because you look for a nigga. You get people like this individual right here. This is who you will get. When you say that, oh, ain't no good niggas out here. There's no such thing as a good nigga. All niggas are ignorant, stupid, full of shit. And any other thing you want to use to describe them. When you say you looking for you a real nigga, real niggas come with consequences. Real niggas come with baggage. Real niggas come with issues. Real niggas come with drama. Real niggas come with basically everything that females claim that they don't want. And then you wind up with somebody like him. And then you wound up being someone like Janice David. Because, yes, he showed you the time of your life. Y'all Netflixed and chilled. Y'all smoked and chilled. Y'all be going out here hitting all the drugs. You smoke for free. You get high for free. You pop pills for free. You just living your life, living it up, thinking it's good. And then that's when this happens. I said there's a difference between real men and realness. There is a place for both. But you need to understand that when you say you want you a real nigga, you're trying to find you a real nigga, this is who you're talking about. What he did to Janice David is only some of what they do to you just because they're angry or because you didn't do what they wanted you to do. This is who you have to look out for. And these are the niggas that y'all want. So as I titled this video, ladies beware because ladies, you do need to beware because I don't think you understand that this gentleman right here who's he's 35 and now his life is over he's 35 even just looking at him if if this wasn't a picture that all the rest pictures for some reason everybody just looked jacked up this man because i know what he did was horrible let me just run down the charges they were on a three four day drug binge before he choked her beat her, stabbed her, and then tried, while live stream, and then tried to, I guess, burn the evidence, which is the dumbest thing in the world to try to burn the evidence now. Like, that is that stupid. And on top of that, after doing that, the, they put out his information Johnson then tried to steal a vehicle, was apprehended in the vehicle, and now in prison for first-degree murder. Now, I don't know how they do murder down there in Louisiana. I don't know if they have the death, death penalty or if it's just life. I don't know. What I do know is, from what I saw, I'm not looking at what he looks like. I don't care what he looks like. 
I don't care if you into that tribalism and feel as though I don't care what tribe he belongs to. I can see him. I see his skin looks kind of like mine. And I said, kind of. Because I don't know. I don't know who this man is. But I know he's a man who did something horrific to a woman. That I don't think anybody. I wouldn't even wish what I've what I've seen in that video to happen to my worst enemy because that it, it was horrible. Sad. You just have you have to you don't have to. No, don't. Just take my word for it and be more responsible. Beware of who you choose to, you know, get high with. If you're going to drink, you're going to smoke. I would rather you drink and smoke alone or with somebody that you know that you can trust. Because, again, you're going to do what you want to do. No matter who you are. Or if you're a parent and you have children and you tell them not to use drugs, they're going to do what they want to do. The best you can do is to try to teach them to be safe and to protect themselves. Because this right here, I want to say that if this woman was not high, and no matter what it is, no matter what, whether she was high or not, what happened to her is still bad. But I want to say I hope she was high and it was numb to the pain because if she was not and he was the only one who was having a manic episode high out of his mind, hog tying her to the steering wheel and doing what he did, that is torture. Yeah. That is torture. I don't I don't know what else to say about that. there isn't anything else to say about that. So that's the reason why I will leave you. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have to be more careful. Because this could happen to anyone. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, elderly or child, anybody in between age range, it doesn't matter. It can happen to anyone. We all need to be more vigilant. We all need to be more aware. And we all need to know and understand what it is we're getting into when we're out here getting into what we're getting into. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm Akish Akhlod Mullins. And this is the Yacht Report.